name is Haley and today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated releases for winter 2017. So this is the first of four videos that I'm doing this year like I did last year where I talk about my most anticipated releases for that season so this is going to be about books that are coming out from January to March of this year and there are a ton of awesome releases. I have already read a few of the books that are coming out later this year and I have loved every book that I have read so far so I think it's going to be an amazing year and I'm very excited for it so without Without further ado, let's talk about some of the books that I'm very excited for. So I've actually already read four of the books on this list because I was fortunate enough to get an advanced reader copy of them, but they are still on this list because I'm really excited for them to come out so you guys can get your hands on them. So the first one is Frostblood by Ellie Blake. This is coming out January 10th, so the day that this video is going up, this book is coming out, and I was really excited about this book because the author is from my city, and that doesn't happen very often where authors from my city are picked up by big publishers, so I was very excited about it especially since it is a YA book and I have read it and I really enjoyed it. I will be doing a review which should be going up today. I haven't filmed it yet though so I'm not sure but if everything goes according to plan it will be going up today. But this book is really cool because it's all about Firebloods and Frostbloods. Now the world is ruled by Frostbloods but our main character Ruby is a Fireblood and she ends up being found out as a Fireblood where she's while well, she's been hiding for her whole life and she is put into prison and then she ends up being captured by this group of rebels because they're going to use her as a weapon to dethrone the king. But before they can actually do that, she ends up getting captured by the king and used in his tournaments. This book was really great. It had really amazing powers. The one thing it does suffer from is that it does have a few tropes, but nonetheless, I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one, especially if you're a fan of the movie Frozen. It's kind of like that, except with fire. Or if you are a fan of Red Queen, I think you will really enjoy this one. Next on my list is another book that I've already read and that is A List of Cages by Robin Rowe. This is also coming out today, January 10th, so definitely go and get your hands on a copy of this book. I was so pleasantly surprised from, by this book. I absolutely adored it. I will be having a review go up. If not today, then I do have a video surrounding this book that will be going up on the 17th of January, so a week from today. Keep your eyes out for that, but this book is all about a boy with ADHD who he is working as an aide to the school psychologist and he is put in charge of getting this other boy who he ends up recognizing as his foster brother that he hasn't seen in five years. So he notices that his old foster brother seems to be kind of lagging behind other kids and he seems to be very odd and reclusive and is the same kid that he knows but not in a good way. So he ends up being very suspicious, that wasn't the word that I went to say, <laughs> suspicious of him and finds out that he is hiding some very terrible secrets. This book was honestly absolutely beautiful. I loved it. The writing was incredible. The characters just took me. Like, I just absolutely loved them. I felt for them and I felt like I was right in this book with our characters and it was just heartbreakingly beautiful but I really enjoyed it and I think that you guys are really going to enjoy it as well, especially if you were a fan of a book like Perks of Being a Wallflower. It reminded me a lot of that. The next book on my list is History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera and and this is coming out on January 17th and it is Adam Silvera's second book. He is the author of More Happy Than Not and a lot of people really enjoyed that book but I wasn't a huge fan of it but that being said I do want to give Adam Silvera another chance and I think this book sounds like it could be really awesome. So this book is all about Griffin and how Griffin's world is turned upside down when his ex-boyfriend Theo dies tragically in a drowning accident. Now Griffin always imagined that him and Theo were destined to end up together but obviously that's not the case since Theo has died so the only person who Griffin can think to turn to in his time of need who will really understand his grief is Theo's new boyfriend. I think this book sounds like it could be really heartbreaking but at the same time a really beautiful story and I'm just very intrigued by the whole plot and I'm hoping that I will enjoy this one. Next up is Caraval by Stephanie Garber and this book is coming out on January 31st and oh my god you guys you need to get your hands on a copy of this book because it is incredible. For a debut author this is just the most amazing book that I have read. It is so fabulous. I did technically read it in 2016 but near the end of the year so if I had read it before I did my favorites of 2016 video it definitely would have ended up on this list because this was just a magically dark story. It's pitched as the Hunger Games meets the Night Circus which is really what it is. It's just this magically dark carnival. It's all about sisters and destiny and all these amazing things. The writing is fantastic. I just loved this story 
so much and I am going to be getting my hands on a finished hardcover copy of this book no matter what because I just love it and I need to have it in my hands. It is beautiful and I'm out. I'm actually also getting the audiobook from Macmillan Audio so thank you to them for sending that to me. I'm going to be rereading it or re-listening to it rather when I listen to the audiobook because I can only imagine how amazing and atmospheric the audiobook is going to be. I am just so excited for it and I think that you guys are really going to be blown away by this book. Next up on this list is the last book on this list that I have actually already read and that is By Your Side by Casey West. If you guys did watch my um, top 12 of 2016 video during Bookmas then you guys know that I loved this book. This book definitely made its way onto that list. It was so great and I really loved it. It's coming out on February 14th so perfect for Valentine's Day because it is a love story all about a girl who gets locked in a library with a guy that she doesn't really like but of course they end up kind of warming up to each other and striking up a relationship. Now what I loved about this book was it's not just about the romance there's also some deeper things going on which I think is what really makes for a successful romance and this one was awesome and I think you guys are really going to love it. Next up is The Valiant by Leslie Livingston and this is also coming out on February 14th and this is by a Canadian author and it's all about a female gladiator and it's inspired by the fact that recent archaeological digs have shown that there may be evidence of female gladiators so she wrote this whole story surrounding that idea and I think it sounds really amazing. I have started it. I'm on about page 20 so I'm not very far into it yet but it's all about this girl who her older sister was like the best female gladiator that there was but then her older sister died so now the main character is forced to take up her spot but when she's supposed to she ends up being captured and taken to a school for female gladiators and she um, her older sister was killed by Julius Caesar's armies and now the school that she's at Julius Caesar is the main patron so her survival rests in his hands so it sounds amazing I'm all about bad like badass female characters and I think that that is exactly what this is going to deliver and I'm very excited for it. Next up is Optimist Die First by Susan Nielsen, another Canadian author and this is coming out on February 21st and this is all about a girl who she has had a terrible family tragedy happen to her so now she's kind of just afraid of the world and doesn't really want to put herself at risk by just stepping outside because she knows that life is out to get her but in her art therapy group her life gets a little bit more interesting when this new boy comes along and she realizes that he's not as happy and confident as he seems and he is really hiding something. So I think this book would be like has the potential to be really cool and something that I will really enjoy. It's very short and I love the idea of the cover. I think it seems really funny but at the same time it's pitched as being like two books that I don't that I didn't really enjoy which um, I can't remember which ones it was but I didn't enjoy the two books that it's pitched as being like so I'm kind of curious to see how I'm going to like it. I'm definitely going to give it a shot and I think I might like it but now I really don't know but we'll see. Next up is Long May She Rain by Rhiannon Thomas and this is also coming out on February 21st and it is all about a girl and her unexpected rise to power. So this book is all about Freya and Freya was 23rd in line for the throne so she was never really meant to be queen but when the rest of her siblings are killed and poisoned in a terrible massacre she ends up finding herself on the throne and in the middle of a very dangerous situation that she really has not been trained to deal with. I think this book has the potential to be awesome. I love the fact that it's a fantasy standalone that doesn't happen often so I'm very intrigued by that and I think that the premise sounds amazing as well so I'm looking forward to seeing how this one turns out. Next up is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas and this is coming out on February 28th and it was inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement which is something really important so I think that this book is going to be really important and raise some questions about police brutality and how the Black Lives Matter movement is combating that. So this book is all about our main character Star and Star lives in two worlds. So she lives in the poor neighborhood that she was born and raised in but also the privileged neighborhood that she goes to school in and there has been an easy balance between the two but that is shattered when she is the only witness to the shooting, the fatal shooting of her unarmed best friend by a police officer. So she's pulled into a terrible situation and has to try and navigate it. I think this book sounds amazing. It's supposed to be becoming a movie starring the um, the girl who plays Rune in the Hunger Games I believe so I think that will be awesome and it's a really important story so I'm hoping that it will be as great as the synopsis makes it sound. Next up is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller and this is also coming out on February 28th and it is all about a 
17 year old pirate captain who intentionally allows herself to be captured by enemy pirates. I think this sounds awesome. I love the idea of having a 17 year old girl as a pirate captain and I just think the fact that she's letting herself be captured seems like it could make for such a cool story. Like it could be a little bit kind of quirky and funny while being really fantastic and action packed at the same time. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Next up is Hunted by Megan Spooner and this is coming out on March 17th and this one is a Beauty and the Beast retelling which is really apropos with the uh, live action remake of Beauty and the Beast coming out which should be really great but there are a ton of Beauty and the Beast retellings and this one sounds like it could be just as great as all the others like A Court of uh, Thorns and Roses. It kind of reminds me of that but it is about a girl who she lives in this fantastic neighborhood and she like it's all about this forest and the beast is in the forest and you're trying to hunt him back away from their territory because he's infringing on their territory. That's what I got from the synopsis. It was really long and a little bit confusing at times, but Megan Spooner is the co-author of the Starbound trilogy, which has these broken stars in it, and that's with um, Amy Kaufman, and I really loved that I read the first book. I still I have to read the other two. I own them but haven't read them yet, but I really enjoyed the first book of that, and I think that it could be really great. I mean, I don't really know which parts of that book that Megan Spooner wrote, but I think that seeing her write something independently could be really awesome and I think I'll really enjoy it. And the final book on my list is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor and this is coming out on March 28th. Lainey Taylor is the author of the Daughter and Spoken of Smoke and Bone trilogy. I've only read the first book of that and I enjoyed it but I just don't think I was in the mood for it so I do want to reread the first book and then read the rest of the books as well because I think it's something that I might really enjoy but I've been putting it off for forever for some reason. I don't really know why but I think that her new book sounds like it could be, could be really cool. So it's all about this junior librarian and war orphan Laszlo and his quest to find this kind of mythical city of Weep. It sounds really awesome. There's a lot of dreams involved, kind of gods and goddesses. It just sounds like a very intricate, really cool world and I think it'll, it really has the potential to be amazing. So those are all of my most anticipated releases for winter of 2017. I can see the comments now being like, where's this book? Where's this book? And some of them I have already read and I haven't really enjoyed. Some of them I haven't read yet and I'm kind of iffy about them and I'm about to read them, um, i.e. Carve the Mark, but that's why that's not on this list and there are a ton of books coming out and these are just the ones that I think stick out the most to me and I'm just really looking forward to. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your most anticipated releases are for winter 2017 and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!